This Earth Day, many people are taking a hard look at how climate change is impacting the planet. It's an issue worldwide, but also right here in our backyard. Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich shows us how climate change is affecting Charlotte. Climate change is a global issue. We know it impacts the entire globe, but there are some pronounced impacts more so here in the Western Carolinas than other locations. Let's take a look at some of the biggest impacts we are seeing here in the Charlotte region. Obviously, everybody is warming, but we're not warming quite as much as other parts of the world. If you look at the map, you can see the warming has occurred most pronouncedly in areas in the northern latitudes and the Arctic. In the Carolinas, we're still warming, just not as much as other areas of the globe, but we are warming. This is the annual average temperature, which is increasing, but our summers are getting incredibly hot. In fact, this is a much steeper increase in the summer than any other season, primarily driven by those overnight temperatures. Temperatures aren't the only impact. One of the biggest ties to climate change we see here locally are heavy rainfall events because as the atmosphere gets warmer, it can hold more moisture. It's like these sponges. When the atmosphere is warmer, it can hold a whole bunch of moisture like this. Not only can it soak up more moisture through evaporation, but when you squeeze these out, they end up dumping more moisture. When we have a cooler atmosphere, it holds less moisture, and so it squeezes out less rainfall when we do get storms. We really notice this pronounced rainfall event when we see precipitable water. It's something we use to measure the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. If you look at the correlation with the increase in precipitable water with the air temperature, they go hand in hand. So what does that mean for us? That means heavier rainfall trends. In Charlotte alone, we've seen an increase since 1950 of half inch, one inch, and two inch rainfall events. And this really is driving those extreme events. When you look at the wettest day of the year, the wettest day is getting wetter every single year. And this is really driving those flood events like we've seen in the last 10 to 15 years. Think of Matthew, Florence and Hurricane Joaquin all driving these extreme rainfall events. Now Charlotte is already a flash flood prone city because of all the undulations and elevation changes. Plus the fact that we have so many beautiful creeks and streams across the area. You combine that with rapid development and a warming climate we are likely going to see increasing flood risk here in the Carolinas. That is likely to going to be the biggest calling card for climate change in our region. So I would expect we're going to see flooding in areas that have never experienced flooding in the past and numerous floodings outside of the known flood plains. So in the future, a warming climate could mean more water in your backyard. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich.